Hey guys, it's on right here. Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 6.1 on your iDevice. So first, you need a uh, iDevice that supports iOS 6.1. And if you have a device that supports 6.1 but you didn't have an update yet, my advice is you update through iTunes, not over the air up. OTA update because we um, some of them complaining uh, saying that uh, they having problems jailbreaking when after after they using the OTA update instead of updating through iTunes. Next, if you uh, if you are updating through iTunes, make sure you do have your backup and um, before you jailbreaking, and then after you have installed the new firmware. You should, as always, um, leave it clean and then you jailbreak before uh, you restore back your data. Next, you must have, obviously, a device running iOS 6.1 that supports 6.0, 6.1, which means it supports um, the <coughs> second, third, and fourth generation iPads. Um, I uh, all iPad minis, iPhone 5, 4S, and 4, and 3GS, and all iPod touches, uh, which supports iOS 6.1. I'm going to use this fourth generation iPod touch right here. As you can see, status 6.1. Yep, and then before you continue, if you have passcode lock, you need to turn it off because it will. Uh, distract the process all right as always you need your computer today i'm going to use a windows version there there are linux and mac os version and windows version obviously um all you need to go, go do is go to evasion.com which is uh, by evaders they created this jailbreak and then right here you can select your uh, platforms um, yeah, it works with Linux too, but today I'm going to uh, use Windows. And then, of course, you ended up with a zip file. You need to go in, extract, extract a file, that's called, and it's called evasion.exe. So I'm going to show you how to run that jailbreak. First of all, oh, um, as always, iPod, your device connected to a computer, sync and backup with iTunes. So in case if any error occur, any error, error occurs, you can um, rescue it back, right? And then, obviously, you need need to run the program. I'll just um, okay. Internet is fast, but I don't know why it looks slow. Right, welcome. Evasion is an untethered jailbreak for iOS 6.0. 6.1 so as you can see if you have your device plugged in you have a you say that iPod touch of generation iOS 6.1 is supported click jailbreak to be you need a device that supports iOS 6.1 only you can use this tool to jailbreak it's very easy it reminds me of the uh, jailbreak tool we use on iOS 5.1 is called the name is hard to pronounce it but I've got no idea what's that name. I can't recall it now. And uh, as you can see, we are using the version 1.1, which um, broke, uh, fixes some bugs. For instance, the weather app is now working, and uh, less crashes and everything. So it says it's supported. We can go ahead and jailbreak it. It's just very easy. Just new click, hit jailbreak. Wait for process to done. Bit of waiting. Of course, it'll take some time, but um,
Right. Um, right here, I have my device. Of course, you're going to be preparing for first reboot. Yeah, of course, there are a few more reboots after that. I'm just going to put my device in front of the camera and show you what happens. I did just now, nothing happened. Stay at home screen, then reboot. You want to touch your device? Watch out, we got that ass right here. But anyway, talking about the method I'm using, because um, the stand that I'm currently using has a limited height control, so I have to use my iPad. And since I, I'm frequently using the Log Me In app, so I'm just gonna use the same method to show you. So I'm using Log Me In, the free version. And uh, yeah, right. Detects my uh, device. Come on, come on. Then you can have all the touch controls here, and I can scroll around, click around. it here right it's got a few stages so just let just let it inject its uh, data if I slide to unlock now actually still have some apps to download don't worry and then it's uploading see there and then wait we got a uh, kind of mysterious app right here it says jailbreak well Wait first. It's uploading CDN now. Right, just gonna. Right, to continue, please unlock your device and tap the new jailbreak icon, which is this one. Only tap it once and it's flashing. Right? Of course, the app will uh, quit immediately. But actually, there's something running uh, in the background. But don't you worry, it looks like it's a force close or something. But it's normal. Just tap it once, okay? It appears at your multitasking bar. Injecting fine new jailbreak data, there will be uh, a few more uh, reboots. Uh, you see. Now, now I remember the previous jailbreak version. It's called Absinthe. It's kind of hard to pronounce it. Absinthe. Absinthe. How do you pronounce it? So it says jailbreak complete. The device may restart a few times as it completes the process. Now. Every time, if we jailbreak and we come to this, um, this part, we will say, oh, we will say, um, it's better to leave the device connected to the uh, computer and the app running. Nah, it's okay if you want to exit or something. So just wait for a while for the device to reboot. So you can just exit the app. Enjoy my lovely wallpaper here. Initializing offsets. This will take a long time. It's almost 10 minutes. Initializing offsets. Cleaning up, bit of clean up. Right. Right. 
done continuing boot so it's not, not gonna reboot just gonna straight away jump to the lock screen so it's 10 minutes 20 seconds um, oh. Yep, it jump, jumped right to the lock screen. I'm trying to slide to unlock. The camera works. Hold on. Hold on. We got a badass over here. Yep. Finally. Unlock. And then we got Cydia. And, of course, usual. I'm gonna fire up Cydia. Just gonna bring up Cydia. And of course, Cydia say preparing file system. This is gonna take a long time, and then it will let you choose whether you want to be you are a user, a hacker, or a developer. Of course, for me, I'm going to choose um, user. So this is going to take a very very long time. It will uh, respring after it's done, and uh, yeah, we can post it and add new package, uh, add new sources, download packages, download tweaks, themes, and everything. So this is how you jailbreak an iOS 6.1 device. It's very very easy, and at this stage, you can now restore all your items back to your device. So um. This is the end of the tutorial videos. Make sure you hit the sub subscribe button, like this video, and comment about mm, anything. You can ask me questions and uh, problems and anything. So, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.